tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So don't forget to like to comment, but be kind and also turn on your notification bell. So let's get to it. It's being reported that Kim feels a way about how people talk about Chloe, but the K's and the J's have put Chloe on with Tristan. And we understand what Tristan's been doing for the last four or five years. They put him on that show. They gave him relevancy. They gave him money to, it seems as if we're seeing it. It's like you're not showing her love. You're not showing her support. In a video, he called her controlling. In a video, they were on the um, uh, steppers. And it was like, oh, Kanye's never leaving. Scott's never leaving. Oh, that means you're never leaving. And he's like, no, you're never leaving me. They go back and forth. Fake storylines. Chloe and Tristan's storyline has been boring and the same for three or four years. Him dating, him cheating. Are they back together? They're hanging out. Same, same boring stuff. So let's get to the clip where Kim is dragging everybody for how they put him on TV. They show how he treats her, but then she wants to blame everybody else of how people are speaking up saying Chloe needs to stand up for herself and not deal with Tristan's alleged cheating, alleged lying, alleged embarrassing her in these streets. Many people are talking about it. So let's also, I've been playing this video because I think it's so important that she says that this is what she wants. She talks about this is what she wants, but Chloe's not even following her own advice, her own advice. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Because I'm going to keep playing it because they get back together. That's on her. She's made the choice to be with a person that allegedly continues to cheat. No, I'm not. I just don't let people me over. And when you cheat on me, you're gone. And you're not going to do it again and again and again. I'm sorry. That's not normal. That's not respect. That's not what boyfriends do to their girlfriends. So I'm not going to let someone do that. I'm being protective and loving you. Okay. I've seen you, this guy hurt you repeatedly. You come to me. I'm a lot stronger you're like than you a man guys. hater. No, I'm not. I just don't let people f me over. And when you cheat on me, you're gone. And you're not going to do it again and again and again. I'm sorry. That's not normal. That's not respect. So that's a part of what she was saying. That was when she was in a different body. And everybody was like, that's the Chloe they missed. Because they were saying ever since she got with Lamar, it hasn't been that great. Ever since she got with Tristan, it hasn't been that great. And then she tries to sit down with an alleged medical doctor and they're trying to tell her that's why she makes the choices she makes. No, the family loves the storylines. The family loves the chaotic. Poor b boyfriend. He doesn't treat me good. He's not respectful. He's in these streets doing God knows whatever else. And everybody's kind of like, they made the choices. How could you not want to choose a good dude, a loving dude, and have a family bonding moment? And he's constantly cheating every year. But let's get to this other clip because it's basically Kim 
trying to uh, say how she feel like people are really scared and nobody ain't studying Kim. Let's get to the clip. I got to go back because the volume was too low. You know what? All of you trolls on the internet that make Chloe feel like the biggest piece of shit, I will find each and every one of you and not threaten you on TV, but I, it's wrong. Like, it's so wrong because you guys... No, it's wrong of what they do. It's wrong of what they post. It's wrong that they give, gave him a platform to embarrass the sister. He cheated. He should have been left alone day one. She was pregnant, early labor. He should have been left alone. And then they had a child. Children are beautiful. Had a child, then had another child. And then Kim likes to hang out with him. What? But everybody, focus on healthy, safe relationships. Listen again. I will find each and every one of you and not threaten you on TV, but I, it's wrong. Like, it's so wrong because you guys don't understand that when you have a child, you'll do anything to try to make it work. And I'm so... No, you try and make it work with a dude that's loving, kind, respectful. You don't continue to give a guy a, a platform. And then he's calling your sister controlling saying she's never leaving him he cheated he cheated and he cheated on the boat he cheated going into the hotel allegedly he cheated trying to you know push up on you know chloe's sister he cheated trying to look up under his glasses when travis is standing right there but you know there's a whole dynamic thing going on because think about when Ky what kylie did in regards to tyga how young she was dating tyga think about how young kim was dating the Jackson boy, you know what I'm saying? She was what 16, 17. But let's go to the next clip. Give back to studying for law school. At first, I thought my favorite thing was the fact that the notepads say Kim is my lawyer, but then I zoomed in. Then I saw the first thing on her list was how do I drag your ass into court and sue for money? Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna play it again. You know what? All of you. She is back to studying for law school. At first, I thought my favorite thing was the fact that the notepads say Kim is my lawyer, but then I zoomed in. Then I saw the first thing on her list was how do I drag your ass into court and sue for money? So then we talk about the David is the creator of Kimoji. He had a meeting with Kim and Chris in like 2014, showed them the concept art. They loved it, started moving forward with the process. Kim's team called him, sneakily stole the concept and idea and trademark out of his hands. David sued them. Kim countersued him for $400 million, made Allegedly. him pay all legal fees, he had to drop it. David's now homeless, living in his car, working two jobs. Okay. The Kardashians are kind of known for doing this to small entrepreneurs, like how Chloe stole good American bodysuit designs from a small entrepreneur called Destiny Blue, who Chloe was buying custom outfits from before she ripped her off. Similarly to David, Destiny, like she should have, sued them for $10 million. And then randomly had dropped the case and was no longer pursuing as a confidential agreement had been reached. And this seems wildly similar to David's story. And I'm sure you're all like, oh, it's only two instances. There's an entire website of just 15 examples of them stealing from Entre. David is the creator of Kimoji. He had a meeting with Kim and Allegedly, all that's alleged. This is videos that everybody's been talking about. This is stuff that everybody's been talking about over the last 10 to 15 years concerning copying people's alleged ideas. Let's go to the next clip. Made him pay. Don't be mad about something else. Please, I'm mad about many of things. This one, I just want to see them be held accountable for because it seems like they have no problem allegedly ripping off multiple people's life work. It works. Allegedly. And I know you're all going to be like, go be mad about something else. Please, I'm mad about many of things. This one, I just want to see them be held accountable for because it seems like they have no problem allegedly ripping off multiple people's life work. It may worse. Yeah. Hey, TikTok. My name is David Liebenson, a once successful business owner, now sleeping in my car. Some of you may recognize me from a story that Kyla Zhao put out a few days ago. To be honest, I didn't expect all this attention so quickly after launching my website, KimKardashianRuinMyLife.com, just a week ago. I'm embarrassed to admit that I wasn't exactly prepared for the amount of views, over 300,000 clicks on the website. 
in just a week. For those that don't know, I was a self-made entrepreneur who founded my own startups, one of which Kim Kardashian stole. I tried to sue her for fraud, but that didn't work out for multiple reasons. My attorney at the time, for some reason, started suggesting I voluntarily withdraw the lawsuit and try arbitration instead. He said maybe he can sort it out on the golf course with their family attorney. Then Kim and Chris decided to kick me when I was down. When I didn't follow through with arbitration, I got, I got other advice that that was a bad idea. They had their attorneys send process servers to serve me paper. Hey, TikTok. My name is David Liebenson. A like I mentioned, all comments are alleged. This is his story. He's trying to tell his story. And trust and believe at some point, they're going to try and plant stuff, make up fake stuff. They're going to try and do something in regards to trying to disgrace or discredit or um, make it seem like this is what's really going on. If a guy had a company, his own company, an app you're using, it's his. All comments are alleged. If how he feels... I don't know if he basically took out a loan or what transpired, but if you have a company, you call to ask about, once again, trademark issue, you call and ask about the trademark, and then uh, allegedly you have alleged connections with the trademark office, and then you allegedly filed the trademark over him. Same concerns with Black China and Rob, trying to file the trademark with Dream. So you're trying to allege, tr file the trademark without him, he should have told them, no, I'll file it. Be patient. Let's do things the right way under an attorney. People have to be careful. This is definitely a learning lesson in regards to him having the IP, him having the um, the uh, patent for it. It's interesting. But you got to go into, you know, TikTok and check out what he's basically saying. Whether she really ruined his life, I don't know. Whether this really happened in regards to meeting, I don't know. And alleged there's like voicemails. So let's go to the next picture. To pay their 400000 in legal fees, harassing my family. There's a lot to this. There's going to be more parts coming soon. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you. So then, of course, this was posted today in regards to how the software developer launched a website dedicated to, you know, exposing the reality star who claims she stole his concept in regards to the Kamoji, she ruined my life and they made they've made millions and then he's also talked about who they connected with his idea connecting with alleged alleged other companies i'll be general about that so let's listen in on how he's seeking support from people and trust and believe the k's and the j's don't like being talked about disgrace but there's not much he could do because a lot of videos that's being made about them people are trying to tell the truth allegedly people are trying to give their opinion allegedly and people are telling how they feel and if they've copied off people it's not okay their team needs to stop being so lazy they need to be creative and make up their own ideas listen in listen in because i'm i'm i wouldn't be surprised if some weird stuff starts coming up about david Kanye's always being in the media to distract away from what the K's and the J's got going on. So maybe now they're going to try and use David to distract away from their media stuff. But let's listen in. Guys, thank you so much for all the support. It's so crazy to see how many of you have reached out to offer help and see if I've made a GoFundMe. Instead of a GoFundMe, I want to start a crowdfunding campaign through Indiegogo. So that way we could do billboards, production budgets t-shirts whatever it takes to get this word out go to a dollar store and you can spend just a few bucks on a plain sign like this and a sharpie marker and you can write kim kardashian ruined my life.com and you can put it in your yard you can put it at an intersection and we can just put these things all over the world i'm fighting not only for me but for anybody that's ever been screwed over by the kardashians or just anybody in general that has been screwed over by shady business practices this is for all of you so what wishes to him, now whether this did transpire, whether this did occur, this is his story, he's telling it, I'm not promoting it, this is not a paid promotion, this is not a paid ad, we do recap reviews, that's what we do, but if the young lady says, on Kim Notes, it's basically, how can I sue, and how can I get as much money out of that in suing them, that's concerning. Prayers go out to David and his family. He allegedly, his wife left him. He's homeless. You know, maybe some days he gets a room. Maybe some, most days he's in his car. 
He's traveling around, showing the signs. And of course, the K's and J's don't like that. They like to be liked. They like to be respected, but they're not a lot of times respectful to other people. They're not. They're not. This is the rise and fall. This is where the shift happens in regard to, you know, Kylie, her situation with Tyga, not okay. Uh, Travis Scott in regards to the astral world, not okay. Kim Kardashian in regards to the Balenciaga situation, not okay. Oh, I wasn't in the ad. People wanted me to say, I'm not going to. Yes, you should have said, I will never deal with. I will never work with. I will never accept any more money. It's not okay. And I have children. And I'm seeing some concerns that concern me. But instead, we see her three or four months later trying to have her daughter pretend like her daughter is like a 23, 24-year-old woman. It's not okay. People play in people's faces and people are calling people out that's doing stuff in regards to that. What's not okay. Be a good person. Be a kind person. Help the homeless in LA. Do that. <laughs> Be known for that. Why do they copy so many people allegedly? Why can't their management team be creative and come up with their own stuff? And it's stuff that we see, whether it's fashion, copying Beyonce, copying Rihanna, it's too much. And then the situation with David, whether the trademark should have been filed, whether the IP and the um, intellectual property was taken, that's for lawyers to decide, not for me to decide. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Kim's notes. Be safe, everyone. Be kind.